Hi, and welcome to the Wimbledon Hockey Ambassador Academy. I am Phil Roper. I play for Wimbledon and Great Britain. And uh, for the next 20 minutes, we're going to do some hockey, going to do some exercising, hopefully you have a bit of fun. So uh, what you need is we need a hockey stick. We actually need two hockey sticks. We need a hockey ball, obviously. And then we also need a tennis ball or a lighter ball, as you can see. And I've got myself, if you can, something hard that you might be able to get a tennis ball against. I've just got this step up here. Okay, so how we're going to start is we are going to get involved with a warm-up, as you do with absolutely everything. So to start off with, we're going to just be jogging on the spot. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to go into uh, 10 squats with our stick above our head. So stick your head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, I think I only did nine. I'm tired. Okay, keep jogging. Next, we're just going to some hamstring kicks. Really important hamstring walk for hockey. You know that whatever light or heavy session, your hamstrings are going to get a workout. So it's really important that we do a couple of these. Okay, keep jogging. We're going to get into our glute stretch. So using the stick, we're going to get into our glute stretch. So really sit on that toilet seat, feel the stretch across your bum. Okay, pop up, stick to the side, get a couple more done. As you can see, I'm pretty lucky. I've got an astro garden, so I've managed to do this outside. But hopefully this should be possible in your living room, wherever else you can get it done. A couple more of these. Okay, this time getting some high knees and then some a couple of bum kicks. And then we're gonna get into a couple of supermen. So opposite arm stretching out, get that real nice quad stretch. Nice, two more. Okay, keep joining a few more high knees and we'll just do a couple of lunges. So we'll go forward, forward, side, side, and again, forward, forward, side, and side. Okay, a couple more jogging on the spot. Make sure that heart rate's going up. And we're going to get into just a little tiny bit of yoga. So we're going to go downward dog. So if you can't see this, put your head for a couple of little calf pulses in this position. Really try and stretch your calves out. And then go up into sun salutation. Stretch those abs out. Okay. A couple more of them. Little calf pulses. And up we go. Okay, right, that is our warm up done. So I'm gonna try and mix up. What I think is really important is when you're playing hockey, the most important thing about hockey is it's such a high intensity game that what you need to work on is being tired and then still being able to do all the skills that you've got. So we're gonna do a, a little super set. We're gonna do five burpees, we're gonna do five sit ups, then we're gonna do 20 high knees and then we're gonna get straight into some V-drag. So how that's gonna look is, I'm gonna shake the stick just diagonally like this. I've got my hockey ball, so once we've done them, we're gonna get some V-drags done. Dribble around the other side, and then dribble around that way. And we're gonna get, make sure, and then we're gonna introduce the lift. But firstly, obviously, as I say, we've gotta get ourselves a bit tired. Okay, so five burpees, five sit-ups, then some high knees, okay? Off we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll do 20 honeys. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, grab your ball as quick as you can, and we'll get into. Okay, we're going to do 10 V drags. Two, get around. Three, four, five, get a bit dizzy. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, 
So just before, we're going to spin the hockey stick around the other way. And then once we've done this set, we're going to move into the other V drag. So we're going to go from right to left. So taking it up and then pulling it back like that. Okay. So we've got to go again. I'm a bit out of breath and hopefully you are too. Okay, we go again. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, five silks. One, two, three, four, five, and then 20 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, this time straight back in. So again, up and then we're going to go right to left. So big drag that way. Okay, and again, big drag that way from right to left. Have a little move around, make sure you enter it and do a big, nice drag. And again, this way. Same again. I think that's five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay. Nice. <sighs> Don't know how that was for you. That's pretty hard for me. Okay. Now, what you can do? Just grab a quick drink. Everyone always needs a little bit of a drink. Okay. Next, we are going to just after we've done that a little bit, get a bit comfortable with the ball. So, in the little space that you've got, have a fiddle with the ball try and be as smooth as possible with the ball so I don't know if you can hear we do all massive taps like that where it's trying to be as quiet as possible so obviously that can't be perfect but you want to be nice and controlled as you do this try and bend your knees a little bit so I can still see the camera and I can still see what's going on ahead of me add a little lift in if you want to but just this is the way you get really nice tight skills and then if you want to start bringing the stick into play, we can start having a little lift with the ball. Nice and really controlled, both reverse and uh, on our forehand, so you can use the lift. So as you go from right to left, you can really try and use that to get a nice lift and then you're still really in control of the ball. Okay, 10 seconds off. And then we're going to do that one more time before we get into our next little set. Okay, remember, Try and keep your knees nice and bent, and we're getting really nice and comfortable. Trying to not make any really, really loud taps. Okay, let's go again. So nice, just moving from side to side. Try and get really comfortable. Pull on the end of your stick. If you're getting really confident, you can really try and drag the ball as far. And then, as you saw, I just messed up a little bit, which is great because it means you're actually pushing yourself as far as you can. Okay, then start to introduce the lifts again. So you use the stick that you have on the floor. Nice and comfortable as you go. Keep going, we'll do all. Lost it. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Take a break. We'll have 10 seconds. Okay, shake it out. Okay, so that was all about our dribbling, trying to stay nice and controlled, nice and comfortable, bending our knees so we can see what's ahead of us. Because the most important thing when you're dribbling is that you can see what the opposition are doing, what your opponents are doing, so you can try and find a teammate, try and avoid the opposition. Okay, so we're going to go into our next uh, little superset, but then we're going to try and introduce the backboard that I brought in. So that's why I brought a tennis ball into it because it's much less likely to, to damage anything if you are inside the home. But this is a great way to improve your first touch. So this is all gonna be about that. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do shoulder taps, we're gonna do mountain climbs, then we're gonna do squat jumps, and then we're gonna finish that off with getting hold of our stick, pushing it against here, and then working on our first touch. And we're gonna do 10 against here, on the reverse and on the forehand. Okay, so you can follow my lead, but make sure your hockey stick and uh, tennis ball are pretty near to you. So a shoulder tap is when we're in the kind of plank position and then we're tapping. Okay, so 
We're going to go for that in five. We're going to do uh, 15 shoulder taps. We're going to do 20 mountain climbers. We're going to do 10 squat jumps. And then we're going to get into that again. Okay. We ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. Okay. And then mountain climbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, six, seventeen, eighteen. 20. Okay, and then some squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then when you're nice and tired, pick up the tennis ball, hockey stick, and then fire it in there. Try and control it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. And then move on to reverse. So we're going to play in with the reverse and try and stop it on the reverse. Two, three, four, five. I've missed. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay. Now, set one done. One more set to go. So. If you notice, with the reason you use a tennis ball, firstly, it's not to break anything, but secondly, it's much harder to control. So the next set, I'm going to try and push myself even further and really try and fizz the ball in so it's harder to control on the way out. Massively help with first touch. Okay, so we'll have 10 second break. I'll grab one more little sip of water. I'm tired. So we're same again. We're going to go 20 shoulder taps or 15 shoulder taps. 20 mountain climbers, 10 squat jumps, and then we do the same again. Okay, and then we get onto the fun stuff. I'm gonna do some skill school to finish it off. Okay, so hockey stick and tennis ball down. We're gonna get back into it in the kind of plank position. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, ten squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, as quick as we can. Get our stick in tennis ball. Really fire it in there. Four. Six, seven, eight, four, four, nine, ten. Now notice when I'm firing in, I'm trying to have a really soft right hand. Okay, that's really, really key to be able to control the ball that comes out. If you're holding really, really tight, that means it's just gonna bounce right off. Okay, and then finish off with the ten reverse ones. One, two, Okay, nice work. Okay, that's the most of the hard work over. I hope you've got a bit of a sweat on like I have. Okay, what we're going to move into next is after 10 seconds, we're going to go into some skill school. So, really working out some new, nice new skills that you might want to do. So, the reason I've got a, a hockey stick out. It's basically you can do everything around a hockey stick if you, as long as you've got two of them. Um, so what I'm going to try and show you how to do is do a ramp. Okay, this is where as you drag the ball, someone's going to put their flat stick down to tackle you, and you angle your stick so the ball just pops over there. Okay? All right. Okay, we're going to go. So as you can see, someone's put their stick down, and we're just going to do a tiny little lift over. Now you can do this both ways, so you can also do it on the forehand. Okay, so how that's going to look again is we just drag it and then we angle our stick up. Same here. Angle our stick up. Okay. Again, notice when I do it, my knees are really, really bent down. Okay. So you have this little bit of space. You know that person's going to put the back stick down. We drag and then we just do a little lift. Same on the other side, but getting really, really nice and low. So that's something 
that you can take away and have a real work at. That's not the easiest skill in the world, but if you've mastered that, then absolutely brilliant. Okay, next, we're gonna come on to the same stuff that I've worked on before, but we're gonna see how quickly we can do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a 30 second, how many times can you dribble the ball from this end of the stick to the other? And we're gonna time ourselves. Now, if you can beat me, please get in touch and let us know, but I'll see how I get on, and then you can see how you get on. Okay, so we'll start here. Make sure you've got a timer on it. I've got a timer just below the camera. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds and count how many, see, how many I can see I can do. Go. One, two, I think that was 62 in 30 seconds. Try to stay as nice and smooth as possible and then make sure that when you're tired, this stuff gets harder and harder and harder, which is why we did all the uh, kind of Joe Wicks, all our workout stuff, which is a brilliant way to work your hockey. Okay, and our last thing, we're gonna go into some even more skill school. So I wanna see you basically work on two skills. We'll go into some keep you ups in a second, but just we're going to go into a bit of a V-drag. If you can do that all the way on the move and then finish it off with a lift, it becomes incredibly difficult to, to stop. So it's the V-drag and then we lift it over the stick. Okay? Make sure we get five of them done. So using the stick, a little lift at the end. Use the pace that you're dragging the ball back with to, to make sure you can get that lift. Okay, two more. Lovely stuff. Okay, and last one, we can see if we can do it the other way around. So we drag it in. Oh, it's got tackled. So as we drag it back, we're going to do a little lift with our reverse this time. Let's see if we can get four more of them. Oh, I'm getting tackled this way. Two more. Lovely stuff. One more. Nice. Okay, that's the hard work done for. Now, little task to see how you can do when you're at home is how many keepy uppies can you do, but with the smaller side of the stick. Okay, I'll have a little look how many I can do, and then we're all done. We'll have a little warm down and we're good. Okay, so just some keepy uppies first, but then when you want, you have a little go, see how many times you can use the side of the stick to keep the ball up. I'm not actually sure how many times that was. Let's have one more go. Here again. One, two, three. Oh, that was, that was five. Okay. So, it's just really important when you've had your heart rate up and when you've got your legs going that we just have one minute of cool down. So what we're going to do is just have a little jog on the spot like we did at the start of the session. A couple of bum kicks. Try and loosen off them quads. Just a couple of gentle squats, little half squats. Stick above the head. Get into a nice space. Push your knees out into this nice big stretch here. One knee on the ground. We'll just get our hamstring done, feeling up to it. Right hand to right foot, really feel that stretch down here. When you've had a second of that, swap over. Have a go at that. Some real key reminders from today. Just trying to really bend your knees whenever you're doing the dribbling. Really make sure you lift your head up. That'll really help when you're trying to watch the game when you get when we're able to get back out on the pitch. Soft right hand for trying to control the ball using the tennis ball is absolutely brilliant for it. I hope you've enjoyed the session today. Hopefully we'll see you again soon out at Wimbledon, out on the pitch. Stay safe, stay at home. Cheers, guys.